one of the key data integration concepts in Azure DataBricks data platform is the external storage locations feature, which allows data engineers to seamlessly integrate DataBricks workspace with external data source. For example, we can mount external storage location data such as Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 or Amazon S3 Service to Databricks Workspace. This enables reading data directly from the external storage systems into Databricks Notebook, Clusters, and Job. In this Azure Databricks episode, I'm going to walk you through the steps to create Databricks storage credentials and external locations in Unity Catalog enabled workspace to Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. So let's get started. I'm going to proceed to the portal.azure.com and the first thing I want to do is to create a container and a directory. So I'm going to click on this ADLS Gen 2 Cornerstone Storage Account Type. And of course, I want to click on the containers under the data storage. And I've got this Databricks container created and I'm going to access the directory. So I've got this bronze layer that I'm going to load some data later on. I want to proceed to create access connector for Azure Databricks. To do that, I'm going to come to this tab and I'm going to click or search for the access connector for Databricks. I'm going to see this icon, click on that. And then I want to create a new one. So click on this new. And I'm going to provide the subscription and then the resource group. I'm going to choose the Cornerstone IT Solution Resource Group. I'm going to call this one my access connector. And then I'm going to go with this East US region. So I can click on the next and I can see the tag. I can click on, just click on the review plus create and then click on create. Next, in the storage account, we're going to provide access control by assigning contributor role to the Databricks access connector we just created. So I can click on this. I can see the name here. So I can see my access connector. And of course, I'm going to note this for now, this resource ID. I'm going to do this later on. And let's come back here and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to come to the access control. And then I'm going to click on add role assignment. And then under the job function, I'm going to search for storage blob data contributor. And I can click on that, click on that, and then click on next. And then I want to select a member. So click on this, select members. And then I can search for this, my access connector. So I can come here and do my access connector. So there we go. Click on that and then click on select. So go ahead and click on review plus create. So we can say adding role assignments. So this is really important. So we want to go to the Databricks Unity Catalog and add storage credentials and add external locations. So I'm going to come to my Azure Databricks. And of course, I want to check that my computer is running. So this is running fine. So I'm going to click on Catalog. And then I'm going to click on this plus sign. First, I'm going to create or add data storage credential. So click on this add storage credentials. And then this is going to be Azure Managed Identity. And I'm going to provide a name for the storage credential. I'm going to just call this one ADLS Gen 2 Credential. And of course, I can provide the access contributor. Now, to get the access contributor, you're going to come back here and copy this resource ID. So I'm going to copy this. And again, I'm going to control V to paste again. And then I'm going to click on Create. So we're going to see the ADLS Gen 2 underscore credential, and we're going to see the owner, the credential type, the connector ID, user assigned managed identity. So we want to go back to the Catalog Explorer. I'm going to add the external location by clicking on the plus sign again and add an external location. So I can provide the external location name, the storage credential, and the URL. These are compulsory. So for the external location name, I'm going to copy the name of my storage account, the ADLS Gen 2 Cornerstone, and Ctrl V. Now I'm going to get rid of this space, and I can provide the name of the storage credential. This is going to be the ADLS Gen 2 credential that's created not too long, and I'm going to see the connector ID, the same thing as my resource ID. That's fine. I can scroll down and provide the URL. This is going to be the ABFSS. And I'm going to provide the name of the container and the storage account dot DFS dot call dot windows dot net. So I'm just going to come here and type the ABFSS colon four slash four slash. So I need the name of the container. So I'm going to come here and go to my storage and copy this 
Databricks container and I can control V and use the at symbol. So we need the storage account name. That's going to be the same thing as the ADLS Gen 2 cornerstone. So control V, get rid of the space, and I'm going to type dot dfs dot core dot windows. All right, and dot net. So I want to make sure that everything is correctly spelled. So this is looking fine. So this is dot net. Okay. So I can go on and control X to cut and control V again. Let me just check ABFSS colon four slash databricks and then we have the name of the storage account dot dfs dot core dot windows dot net. So I can click on create and successful your external location has been created which is absolutely fantastic so we can see that by coming to the browse when i click on the browse i'm going to see the bronze layer directory that is within the container so i'm going to come here and open it up and i'm going to see the bronze so for now i've got no data so let me just come here and check it out okay nothing now i want to actually load some data into this location click on the upload and i want to go ahead and browse through my local laptop so i'm going to add some data on my desktop so let's say I want to actually import all of these csv files 2010 to 2023 i can select all of them and then click on open and click on upload as soon as this is ready so there we go so i'm going to have all of these files in the bronze layer directory of the databricks container so when i come back here i can see all the data live and then i can go ahead and use or perform analysis in the notebook i can even do so many other things so this is how we can create an external storage locations in databricks enabled workspace i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like share and comment thank you for watching bye for now